Hello everybody, Big Paul, Queen Bee of Fitness here. About to get a swollen silverback rear delt training going on. And uh, we're gonna be actually in a few, we're about to go inside. Hey. <laughs> First set, lat pull down. Cable lat pull down, so we're gonna do like five sets. It's gonna be four working sets, and then the fifth set is gonna be almost like a drop set, almost a failure. So pretty much the grip is going to be like an overhand grip. When you want to bring it, you want to bring it to the, the middle of your stomach. Middle of your stomach, you want to contract the lax. This is more, this is more like, this is more like a close grip. We're going to be focusing more of the center of a lap. And when you're actually pulling it to your stomach, you want to actually breathe out so you can contract hard. Really, really hard. Seated, seated row, wide grip. Five sets with a drop set. All right, this is gonna be the last set plus with the drop set to fill it. Let's get this. Pretty much, so pretty much on this, you want to stretch the lat out as far as you can in front of you so that you'll get maximum stretch, maximum contraction. You want to be able to bring the dumbbell to your hip, not to your, not to your chest, to your hip, your hip. You're working on that whole lat area. No swinging, none of that ego shit. It's just straight, straight muscle. A lot of people come in here and get, get all these heavy, heavy weights thinking that they're gonna gain muscle. If you can contract the muscle with 30 pounds, you still can grow. Does hand placement matter? What is the difference between putting your hand on top of the weight? Hand placement, hand placement is very, very crucial because angles work with hand placement. So let's say for instance, the person is having a hard time trying to engage their lats. A good way to engage your lats, use the gun motion. When you have this gun motion, this helps to activate your lats. 
by you closing your hand all the time, you'll probably be working a lot more forearm and bicep. By having your hands as hooks, you engage more lap. I'm gonna show you something right here. I'm using the gun, the gun, right? If I'm using the gun, see how my hands are? Boom. If I'm here. I can use map. Or lap. Or lap. And you want to follow through with your elbow. The hand placement works, angles, and you want to make sure when you're using your elbows, you want to make sure that you're following through with one motion. One motion. You should be feeling your lats through the whole motion. So the premise of this is to kind of tie in your lats and your rear delts. When you look at a, a person or a bodybuilder from back, you want to make sure they have a nice lat rear delt look, nice V taper look. Um, a lot of people don't really work on the rear delts, even though it's a small muscle, that small muscle makes the back look incredible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit about like three exercises for rear delts. And then that'll be that'll be it. That'll be it. Come on, let's get this. So that's three versions. You can do it with the dumbbells, you can do it with barbells, you can also do it with plate loading. There's so many different ways you can hit the rear delts. Like I said before, you want to think outside the box. What might work for dumbbells might not work for you. What might work for barbells might not work for you. Everybody's hands and placements are different. So you gotta kinda like feel what works best for you. These videos that I'm gonna be putting out for content, it's just not for guys, it's for women too. Women always think that, or because they see an intimidating workout that they're gonna get extra muscular or it might not be fit for them. You have to, you have to kind of look outside the realm. You have to kind of work, you know, work what's best for you, you know? All because you're putting on muscle, that doesn't mean that you're gonna look ridiculously just hideous. 
there's nothing wrong with putting on muscle. Muscle is a sexy thing. Everybody loves muscle. It's a confident builder. So, ladies, if you like muscle, try it out. It might work for you. Wrapping up this video. Any questions about the video or the training, the description is down below in the box. Also, check out all my social media, Big Core underscore twice. Also, my girl, Queen Bia Fitness, check her out. Subscribe, give us a like button. Big Paul out.